Right, just tweaking some stuff here, getting everything ready. So, today is March 5th, 2024. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have a little bit of fun with Firefly. I haven't done a Firefly focused session in a while. Um, so, we are going to. Do some stuff in Firefly for today. Today, um, if you don't know, is uh, National Absinthe Day here in the United States, and I've seen it, you know, more and more um, be adopted as International Absinthe Day. Um, I know the Swiss have their own day, um, but in the United States, uh, the Repeal on absinthe was lifted March the 5th. I believe that was 2007. It was almost 100 years that uh, absinthe production and sales were not allowed in the United States of America uh, long after Prohibition. And it's been some time now. It's been, you know, between 15 and 20 years. So this is why we celebrate... Uh, every March 5th. So, I was prompted to do this because it's National Absinthe Day. Um, and I do have a stream from last year on this day, too, where we do some neat stuff with uh, rushes made from absinthe spoons. But there's this article that was published um, in La Repubblica. So that's an Italian newspaper. And in the article, they're using photos like this. They're using photos of some green liquid um, on fire. And that is not what absinthe is at all. Here's a guy lighting sugar cubes um, with a match. None of these are authentic. None of these are what absinthe is about, right? Absinthe doesn't look anything like that. I've prepared a glass of absinthe to have with the stream today um, and this is what it looks like it's not on fire it's not like a weird uh, fluorescent green color it's a very pleasant herbal uh, spirit so Sante all what we're gonna do is just kind of try to generate some proper <laughs> proper absinthe imagery inside of Firefly. And I don't have a very high degree of confidence that um, that will actually be very successful at this. Simply because, um, you know, a lot of the photography that you see out there when talking about absinthe is very incorrect. The information's very incorrect. The imagery around it is incorrect. So it's gonna be very difficult for something like an AI that's been trained on such imagery to get it right. But we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try it out with Firefly. Um, I don't think I've ever tried anything absinthe related with Firefly. Um, I've used uh, Mid Journey way back, like 2022, I think. I've also used uh, Stable Diffusion and it's never very good. So what do we want to generate first? Let's do uh, a cafe scene at night with glass with a glass of absinthe on the table. Cloudy green louche. So I'm putting in here cloudy green louche in the glass. Um, that's what you see on a proper glass of absinthe. It's not see through, right? It has this louching effect where everything clouds up and turns all milky. And that's what we want to see. Now, 
you know, I'm saying here, glass of absinthe on the table. Firefly may not get this right. I may need to be more descriptive, and you can get around things that Firefly doesn't know by just describing those things in some way. So I could go through and describe, you know, what I see, what I want to see in the glass without calling it absinthe, without using terminology like louche that it may not know. Let's click generate and see what our first crack comes up with here, right? And feel free to uh, mention in the comments if you are celebrating uh, National Absinthe Day. Oh, see? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at that. It's awful. And it's not Firefly's fault, right? That it gets it so incorrect. It's just how it is. Um, just based on the world. All right, so cafe scene at night. The glass of cloudy green, light green. We don't want to be crazy here because you say absinthe and this is what you get. You get this nonsense right here. All right. And we do want photo. Let's make the visual intensity go up quite a bit. And uh, I'm going to want uh, landscape. That might be okay for now. Let's generate. See what we get. See? Well, I mean, it's getting there, right? So, like, in here, it's made it a little cloudy. Which is getting there. We're, we're doing... Um, We're tweaking, we're instructing the AI to, to help things out, but it still has issues. So how can we change this? Glass of cloudy. See, I think the term green here, let's say brown. So a feature that absinthe has, because it is a natural uh, spirit, right? It's made out of botanicals, so things like seeds and flowers and leaves, right? Um, because of that, all that stuff has, of course, um, what's it called? Uh, it's the stuff that makes leaves green, right? I don't know why it's escaping me right now. Chlorophyll, right? So it's got these... Uh, all these elements in it that are natural and, uh, you know, they imbue this uh, green color here to the spirit. But the thing is, because it is natural, like if it's a true absinthe, it's natural. And, you know, age and exposure to light and things like that actually creates what's known as a feuille mort color. So it's a dead leaf uh, color. So I'm going to put light brown here and see if this... Uh, helps out. I'm going to also say alongside a bottle. Mm. So hope everyone's doing well. Again, if you, if you are, you know, celebrating National Absinthe Day, well, that's a little bit better. Cloudy, milky. Let's say light yellow instead of brown. It's, it looks a little bit too much like a key, uh, a tea here. So let's try to, hmm. They don't know what a bottle of absinthe looks like either. I'm gonna say bottle of wine. Because absinthe does not come, <laughs> you know, you can't buy it in something like that. I'll grab a bottle. So, an actual bottle of real absinthe looks like this, right? It looks more like a wine bottle. It's actually the same size as a wine bottle. And you can see it's got a nice decorative label. Um, this one has a cork, but not all of them do. Um, and this is uh, Jade Terminus uh, 
Absinthe Oxygene. Uh, it's made by Jade Lacours and Ted Bro in uh, Samoa, France. So, it looks nothing like that, right? We're trying to we're trying to fix this stuff. So I'm going to say a bottle of wine because the AI probably knows what a bottle of wine looks like, right? Generate. Okay, this is looking better. Bottle of wine with a decorative label, right? I spelled decorative wrong. Deck. Oh, what? Decorative label. Cafe scene at night with a glass. See, I could say like, so this particular glass is a Pontellier glass, right? Because it's got the the reservoir that you sort of like measure out your absinthe from the bottle, and then you prepare it with water. It's usually about uh, one part absinthe to five parts water, four or five parts, depending upon your taste. And these glasses are made, you know, to be able to measure it appropriately. You know what's actually really good about this one right here? That almost looks like a cone of sugar. So something that, you know, would be done in the past is sugar would be distributed to cafes as a cone form, right? Cone of sugar that was, uh, you know, basically like a giant sugar cube shaped like a cone and like, you know, two feet tall. And you'd have special sugar cutters. They look like giant scissors where you just break off lumps of sugar. Um, so I wonder if that's maybe I should give give it more credit here, right? And what's neat right here, like this one actually has this this is what happens when you add the water to it, right? Um, the the loose bit of absinthe tends to start from the bottom and then raise to the top of the glass. And it leaves this little this little in between part, this little barrier of unleashed absinthe, and that's what it looks like. So, we're 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 getting somewhere with this, right? So I'm work, working on the bottle right now. Um, cloudy, thick, milky. There we go. Quick little press. And you know, one thing I have not seen with Firefly... Oh, that looks better. This is awesome. That looks way better. So check that out. So we've got a couple things going on here, right? If I look at this one, that is a much thicker loose than what we had before. And yeah, I mean, the bottle... You know, it does come in green glass sometimes. Uh, the reason they put it in, in glass that has been shaded and not clear glass is because... Um, you know, they want to keep the light out so it doesn't turn that void more to color. And like this gla this bottle here is a very dark brown glass, right? Amber glass um, to help keep that out. Alongside a... Uh, amber glass bottle of wine with a decorative label. So you trick the AI, right? You tell it, hey, yeah, it's a bottle of wine, guys. And it's, it's not. You're trying to make a bottle of absinthe. But, uh, you know, the AI doesn't, doesn't quite know that. So let's see what changes that will make to our result here. Maybe take the word glass out. Yeah, maybe after this, because we do have the glass dialed in. We've got it a proper louche. Um, 
Yeah, it looks like we're, it wants to create green glass no matter what we're doing. But uh, yeah, that's a much nicer, uh, realistic glass of absinthe there, right? Oh, this one's nice. They've actually even got like some botanicals on the on the label. Yeah, these are not so bad. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of these additional options in Firefly. Maybe we can get a different look to what we're going with here. Actually, I'm going to save this one. I'm going to save this one to my favorites. I'm going to say, yeah, Adobe. That one's really good. Adobe's going to be like, thank you, Joseph. It's so nice of you to give your uh, feedback to us. Let's have a look at these looks here. So cinematic, perhaps. We add that tag in there. Let's go ahead and do that. Cinematic. Photo settings are on auto right now, but uh, right, we could adjust this. Make field of view take that a bit wider. We've got some advanced settings here. And yeah, I do have photos selected. So that's good. So interesting. This is, this is one thing that I have not tried yet in Firefly is excluding terms from an image. So what would we want to... I can't think of anything we'd want to exclude that it's already placing in here. So let's generate... It has totally changed all of our wine bottles. That doesn't look right. That looks like beer. <laughs> That's not great. That looks like beer. Strange that these couple of changes that we made, having something cinematic. Let's remove cinematic. I wonder if that's what's triggering it. To make our absence look like beer. Yep, looks like that's what it was. That's interesting. This one's pretty good, too. This label is insane. This is a weak, weak louche. I wouldn't want to drink that absent. That's better. Yeah. So let's see. What else might we want to do here? Yeah, this is going to be a shorter session today. And actually, until probably about 30 minutes before uh, this started, um, I was just going to not do anything today. I didn't have any ideas for anything. Um, but then I remembered, hey, you know what? It's National Absinthe Day. So let's celebrate with Firefly and see what we can do. Let's take our shutter speed up. Take our aperture up. Generate again. I am, so we have, we have actually gotten far better results than I initially assumed we would get. I'm just based on what I know about Barbara. So this is this is a nice proper glass of absinthe, you know? Very good. Good job, Adobe. The bottle is something else though. See that's a bit thin. That that bottle actually looks like it could be an absinthe bottle. A lot of these are just way too like bizarre and decorative. This looks like a champagne. It doesn't look like absinthe at all. And here again, we get that froth, like a beer. And absinthe 
will not ever froth. It just doesn't have the components to do that. So it's pretty, pretty silly. So what if I say like exclude froth from there? Froth, fire, we don't want any fire. Although if I do that, it'll probably remove the candle. So let's not, let's just do froth. Oh my gosh. Oh, we've already got it, I see. So it adds them as tags. Oh my gosh, froth. There we go. Generate. Let's see if it can remove those bubbles. I could probably use bubbles too as a uh, thing. Oh, you know what? So, oh, here, let's, uh, it's still generating them. Bubbles. So I just remembered something um, that is important. But let's see what these results are first. Yeah, it's, it's still rendering the damn bubbles. So what I wanted to mention was this. So I do content for LinkedIn Learning. Uh, some stuff, most of my stuff is Adobe Focus, but um, I also use Figma quite a bit, and this is a course that was just released yesterday. Uh, designing with variables and conditionals. It's uh, focused on Figma, and it allows for some really, really interesting new workflows inside of prototyping and screen design software. So you're able to set different variables of like Boolean and you know, text variables, and numeric variables, and so forth, and then apply those, and manipulate them throughout the user process. So if a user is testing things, like some things you can have, you know, they're, they exist just for kind of like design time or author time um, to hide and show things, but other, other items, you know, like if you have a shopping cart, for instance, which we do in the course, we build out a fully functional uh, shopping cart when prototyping in Figma. So yeah, I'm very happy to see that this is released. It actually released about a month earlier than I thought it would. So um, if you are a LinkedIn Learning subscriber, please do check it out and let people know about it. I have high hopes for that particular course. All right. So I don't know what else I can do to this inside of Firefly to uh, make it behave. So I'm just going to say, this is good, right? This is good. I think this one is probably the best for sure um, out of this crop. You know, I do wish... <coughs> so if you've used, uh, like, you know, Firefly-aware content inside of Photoshop, then you will know um, that you actually get a lot of control where you can see different versions of things that you've created. Um, you can go back, uh, adjust things to, to a fine level of detail. Um, Yeah, Firefly on the web is just a little too... You know, I wish... Let me see here. I wonder if I can get access to... Because I did favorite that one. And the thing that's awful... About our friend Firefly is when you favorite things right now, it actually, um, it actually saves them to using cookies on your web browser. And what that means, of course, is if you're using anything particular, so if I jump in here and I say favorites, <laughs> I love this one. These are, quite fun. Uh, I think I did these for a, a session. Uh, I can't remember 
for whom. But I did them as part of a session talking about Firefly. But here is our favorite, right? So this one I thought was probably the best out of the bunch here. So I'm going to do a couple things to this guy. I'm going to download it so I can paste this back up inside of my Behance after this stream is over. Yes. Thank you, Firefly. And then I can also go through and edit this in Adobe Express, right? So if I wanted to add, you know, Happy National Absinthe Day 2024. I can choose Edit in Express. And I wish Express had a dark mode because it's super bright. It's like, stop. But here it is inside of Express. And then I can add my text to it. And... Who do I search for text? Absinthe. Search for absinthe. Oh, we didn't find anything. This is what I'm talking about, right? There's no, like, <laughs> workable stuff here. Um, so I gotta add my own text. National Absinthe Day 2024. And... I wonder if I should actually so small. Ooh, text effects. Strangling any green and yellow and Brown. Cycle of despair. Herbs and leaves. Without. And uh, yeah, let's make it realistic. I'll give it a tint. And generate. So let's see what uh, text effects come up with Firefly here. That I'm getting blown out with this lightness. This may work out, right? Center it up top here. And maybe even use... Let's see. The dead reach for us through the veil Tech shape, of right? So shape fill. Touch us. Let's make this a dark... No green. Maybe I can even sample from here, right? Sort of dark green colors. Something lighter. That might work. And shape size. Let's make it Looks like I have to extend the bounds a little bit to get it to, uh... Oh, come on. Stupid Express. Sorry, Adobe. Um... Yeah, we'll take the opacity down a little bit. Hmm. Actually, this might work better. Yeah, well, I don't know. See, I want... Ah, whatever. We'll work within your constraints, Express. I suppose I could always just take it into uh, something else, right? That looks pretty good. Now, I wonder if I could put a shadow on my text effect. Oh, I can. 
Very good. So let's change this color. And maybe make that a nice green. And uh, uh, it's a very severe right now. Classic and then go into custom. There we are, darken those doors. There we are. Right on. And then, of course, I can go through and say, let's download this, right? And that's what I'll share in my comments. Well, Adobe, I am somewhat satisfied. There's some things that I would have done a little bit differently, but it's okay. All right, cool. Well, I think that about wraps it up for me. Um, I'm going to finish my glass of absinthe. And I hope everyone has a happy National Absinthe Day 2024. On today, March the 5th, which is National Absinthe Day. See you all later. Thank you for joining.